Hey, what's up everybody? Just wanted to do a quick video today. Uh, I wanted to give you guys some free PNG overlays and some textures uh, and just show you how to use them. So there is a link in the description for a Google Drive and you'll have two options here. You'll have your PNGs you can download, which are the overlays and you can grab these textures and uh, I will show you how to bring them in and how to use a few of them so you can add a little spice to your uh, compositions. Okay, so we're in Affinity Photo, and now I'm going to show you how to bring in these PNGs and textures to add them, um, to, to add a little something to your composition. So um, what we're going to do is I'm going to go to File, Place to bring in uh, one of these overlays. I just have a blank document open right now. I'm going to hit Place, and I'm going to browse to my uh, PNG. So I've downloaded them. I'm going to go to my PNG folder, and I'm just going to grab uh, this one here, Overlay 5, and hit Open. When I do that, my mouse will change, and that gives me the option to click, drag out the texture. And what I'm gonna do is just rotate it so I can um, uh, make it fill the canvas. I'm gonna turn it this way. Now you'll notice in my layers panel, my overlay has appeared at the top. I also have a picture down here, which we'll show in a second, but I have it turned off. Um, and what an overlay does is basically it, it sits on top of your composition and affects everything below it to give it kind of a cool texture or whatever it is you're going for. And I'll show you that by just bringing in a shape. I'm gonna grab a circle here. I'm just going to drag out a circle. So I got this blue circle and it's just sitting on top here. If you look in the layers panel, it's sitting at the very top. If I click on it and drag it below the overlay, you'll see now it's sort of taking on the texture uh, from the very top here. So it's, uh, I'll zoom in here. So it kind of looks like it's underneath um, and it's on this paper texture. I'll draw out another circle just so you can see what I mean and change the color. Um, let's make it this. So now you see it's got this cool, um, this cool texture and there's all kinds of overlays there's rain and snow and smoke fire a lot of things you can think of exist in overlays so these are a really cool thing to put on the top of your composition to to uh have it take on a different uh, form uh, i'll show you here with a uh, bird so i've got this bird here and the texture the overlay is off right now and this is what it looks like normally and if i turn this overlay on um, it looks like it's you know on this folded piece of paper and like i said there's tons of different overlays this is just an example of how that that works so let's do another one here Okay, so in this photo, I got a guy who is smoking a cigar, and what I want to do is add some additional smoke. And I can do that by using an overlay. So I've included a few smoke overlays in this uh, download I provided, and to bring it in, I'm going to again go up to File, Place, and under my PNGs, I'm going to grab Smoke 2 and hit Open, and I'm going to click to drag it out. And you can see now that the smoke is sitting on top of... Uh, sitting on top of the photo and it blends in here. And what I wanna do is I wanna flip this so the smoke is coming from the other direction. So in Affinity Photo, if you don't know this, you can flip anything in Affinity Photo by right-clicking on the object, going down to Transform and clicking Flip either horizontal or vertical, and I'm gonna click horizontal. So now that it's gone this way, I wanna position it over here. It's a little bit big, so I'm gonna grab the bounding box, pull it down, and it looks good, but it might look a little bit too strong. So I can change this a few different ways. I can click on the smoke and bring the opacity down right here so it blends in a little bit. Or I can also go to my blend modes up here and I can pick a blend mode that I think looks uh, better. So maybe I would go with um, overlay, looks pretty good, uh, and soft light gives it a bit of a pop. So say I went with soft light. So that is how a smoke overlay would work. So if I move this around, you can see, again, it sits on top and it can be positioned or moved around to give you uh, an effect. So that is another example of one of the PNG overlays. And something else I want to point out about these overlays. Uh, let me go to another sample here. Okay, so I have um, you noticed most of the overlays that we put on. So if I go File, Place, and I select, say, let's pick this overlay here, and I position it, you can see on the white background, um, it looks the textures look black and it looks cool. And if I move it to black, you don't really see it. It just it's because it's an overlay and it's see-through, all the black stuff is hidden. What you can do is flip these overlays. If you have a, a black background and you want it to show, what I'm gonna do is take this texture, I'm gonna move it halfway on the black, halfway on the white so you can see this. I'm gonna select my overlay, I'm gonna go to my blend mode, and at the bottom I'm gonna go all the way down to erase. Now you can see when I hit erase, so that's normal. You see it on the white side. If I go all the way down to a race, now you see it on the black side. So I can pull this texture over top on the black side, and now you can see it on the black background. So that's something to keep in mind when you're working with overlays. You can flip them back and forth. If you have a white background or a dark background, um, you can flip the um, blend mode to make that show. I just wanted to quickly point that out. Okay, another example. Let's use both of them. Let's use now a texture and let's use an overlay. So I've got this uh, cover here. There's this model and this text here. It looks pretty pretty basic. Um, let's bring in an overlay first. So I'm going to go File, Place, and I'm going to grab 
Uh, I think I'm going to grab the same overlay, maybe this one here, overlay one. I'm going to click open and I'm going to drag this overlay out. And you can see my overlay is sitting at the top of my layer stack. There's my text and then my Walmart Joker. And if I move this around, you can see it looks kind of cool. It's over top of his face and over the text. If I just wanted it to affect the model and not the text, I would just click on my overlay and drag it below the text. Now it's just affecting the model. So it looks pretty cool. And let's add a texture now to this text to make it a little bit more exciting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to File, Place. I'm gonna browse this time to my Textures folder. And I'm just gonna grab this texture here. I'm gonna click Open. And then I'm gonna drag out the texture. I'm gonna put it right over top of the text here. And um, what I'm gonna do is clip this in to the text. And I have other videos on this I'll link below if you're not sure how to do this. But all you have to do essentially is take your, your texture, drag it over top of your text, and now you can see it's sitting inside the text. Um, this is a child layer, or sorry, this is a parent layer. This is a child layer. It's now clipped inside of the text. So that looks pretty cool. And you could even take it a step further by um, making sure your fabric layer is selecting, going down to your um, adjustments. I could pick an HSL adjustment and I could also just change the color of this texture. And I'll do this in another quick example, but you can change this color of the texture as well to really, uh, to really get what you're going for. So this is an example of using a um, texture and an overlay. This is what it looked like before. So this is uh, no, nothing in the text, no texture, and this is no overlay. So it really adds something extra when you start adding these things in your compositions. Uh, that one we went through. And I'll just show you here. Um, I'm going to turn this fabric on. And again, uh, I'll show you. You can change by going HSL or recolor. You can change the color of these and really make them kind of what you're going for. So you could also blend them together. So I have a second one here. I'm going to drag this one up to the top and turn it on. Now I've got this blue fabric. And I could change the blend mode here to make it something sort of really unique by blending two or three or four of them together. So that is just a... Quick example, the download is in the um, uh, description. It's all royalty free. You can use them in whatever you like. Um, play with the textures and the overlays to make your compositions a little bit more exciting. If you like the video, uh, you know I gotta ask. You gotta, gotta ask you to tap, tap, tap that like button. And if you've never seen my videos before and this was helpful in any way and you wanna subscribe, you'd just be super cool. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. I'll get back to you and I will see you in the next one.